The original Xbox had a headset that you plug into the controller port. The PlayStation 2 had a headset that you plug into the USB port. Both of these were just for voice chat. This was fine because those consoles came with wired controllers. Once wireless controllers started coming bundled in with consoles, manufacturers implemented a very obvious, very simple solution to keep players wireless at all times. A headphone jack in the controller. That was in 2005. It is now 2019, and this is Nintendo's solution. It's taken two whole years, but finally someone has come out to right Nintendo's wrongs. PDP has updated their face-off deluxe controller to include a headphone jack. It's officially licensed by Nintendo, and it's only $25. Also, um, this is a wired controller. I know I made that big whole dramatic intro making it sound like this is a good feature for wireless controllers, and it is, but it's also good for wired controllers too. Otherwise, you'd have to have your headphones plugged into the switch, which is in the dock, and that's almost never gonna be within range. Also, being wireless helps cut down on cost. The cable is 10 feet long, so it's long enough for whatever setup you have going on. I play at my desk, so distance isn't something that's gonna bother me. I almost always play with my Pro Controller plugged in, so not even in wireless mode. I should also note that this controller does not have motion controls, which would be weird for a wired controller. But it also doesn't have rumble, which would have been nice. Rumble isn't something that I miss when it's not there. I actually had to think and be like, wait, while I was playing it, did it have rumble or not? Again, it's only $25, so this is all part of the cost cutting. It does have a lot of stuff though that makes up for what it doesn't have. It has two macro buttons on the back that you can program to whatever button you want pretty easily. You just hold the function button down, then press the button you want assigned and the paddle you want it assigned to at the same time. I actually didn't receive any instructions on how to do this, but I got it right first try. So that is solid UX design, good job. And it does let you map the thumbstick clicks, which is the first thing I check when I see macro buttons. That was only really useful for like melee attacks and Call of Duty back in the day, but it is a nice feature to have. This type of thing could also be useful in Smash Brothers for jumping. That way you never have to take a finger off the action buttons. Maybe jumping in shooters too. They call that bumper jumper, or at least they did in Destiny. The one downside to this is that the paddles are massive. And when things get heated, I tend to squeeze the controller. So I squeeze the paddle a lot. This led to a lot of unnecessary deaths in Katana Zero. Luckily, you can take the paddles off completely with this switch, but then you have an uncomfortable controller. I'm not sure if you can map the paddles to just nothing or clear the programming. Your best bet is probably just map them to the thumbsticks because those usually aren't used for that much. This controller also has swappable face plates, hence the name Face Off. No, it's not named after the movie. I know I was disappointed too. I'd imagine that most people would just buy the controller design that they want and stick with that. It would be cool to be able to buy a new faceplate if they eventually come out with one that's cooler than the one that you have already, but I don't see them currently selling faceplates by themselves for their older models. So don't get your hopes up there. For now, this is just a feature that doesn't really mean much. Except that they sent us this super cool Wolf Den one. How did they get this logo? I didn't even send them this logo. It looks like a vector too. Unfortunately, you can't buy this one. Although I'm sure we could work out a pretty sweet deal, PDP. You could sell it on our little apparel store, you know? Hit me up. But for now, I gotta focus on the ones that you actually can buy. It looks like in their older model that doesn't have the headphone jack, they had some controllers that were bundled in with two faceplates so you can swap them out. But for this newer model that has the headphone jack, it looks like you can only buy the red, the purple, or the black, or the blue. Oh yeah, hey, um, yeah, there's a headphone jack. We gotta talk about that. Let's not forget that. Uh, this headphone jack will not work with first party Nintendo games like Splatoon 2 or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For those, you still need this abomination. But for almost every third party game that has voice chat, you can use this controller. So yes, Fortnite, you could use this with Fortnite. Play Warframe sometime, would you? And the headphone jack works fantastic. Controlling the volume is also intuitive. You hold the function button and press up or down on the D-pad. This controls the volume of the controller itself, not the volume of the switch. For that, you have to get up and press the volume controls on the switch unit itself. So just make sure it's high enough to be able to control with the controller. 
I had my volume set to about three quarters on the Switch and max on the controller itself. That was plenty for me. I'm also not one of those guys that likes to ruin my hearing every time I play games anyway. I had no complaints about the audio quality coming out of this controller either. Everything was crystal clear. I can hear Sarge just fine. Thanks Sarge from the Discord for playing Fortnite with me at one in the morning so I could test this controller out. The worst part of this audio port is that when you're adjusting the volume and you hit the max volume, it emits this really annoying beeping sound and it's at max volume because you just hit max volume. That is terrible UX design. Shame on you for that. Also, you can mute your mic just by double tapping that function button, which is very helpful because my mic was really sensitive. I didn't really see any settings in the game or in the Switch itself to adjust the sensitivity of my mic. Maybe it was just my mic. Since I know that a lot of you people are gonna ask, I use these Shure earbuds. I like earbuds more than I like over the ear headphones. I use these earbuds for everything. These are the newer models of the old version that I used to use as in-ear monitors when I would play the drums back in the day. These new ones are not as good as the older ones, but they do have a microphone in them, so that's why I bought them. These headphones work on an iPhone as well. I know that some Android phones have the rings in the input reversed, and the same goes for the PlayStation 4. So when I plug these headphones into a PlayStation 4, the mic doesn't work. If you're worried about your headphones working on this controller, just plug your headphones into the Nintendo Switch itself because whatever headphones work on the Nintendo Switch will work on this controller. Just make sure that you test the mic. The build quality of this controller is also surprisingly solid for a $25 controller. Just like all of these cheap wired controllers, it's a little bit plasticky, but it's the least cheap feeling of any of the wired Switch controllers that I've ever used, excluding the GameCube controllers, those don't count. The actual buttons and thumbsticks on this face-off controller feel like they're a very good quality, and that's all that really matters, isn't it? I'd have no problem using this controller for everyday use. I'd say that it's probably the best wired Switch controller that you could buy right now. It's cheap, and it has more features than any of the other ones. The macro buttons are a nice touch, but the headphone jack is what really steals the show here. I'm not gonna be throwing out my Pro Controller or my SN30 Pro for this thing, but if you're on a budget, or maybe you just want a controller for player two, or you need something to play Fortnite or Warframe in docked mode, this is the one to get. But when you're not playing Fortnite or Warframe, hey, look at that, you have a player two controller now. this controller. This is the first Switch controller to have an actual audio port. By the way, PDP sent a bunch of these, so we're actually gonna give some away over on our Instagram, so make sure to check out the link down below for more details on that. Now, if you're familiar with the audio issues that happens on the Switch when it comes to in-game chat, you have to rely on an app that's on your Damn it! Now I've gotta give some of these away. All right, so I guess I'll give away two of these controllers with the stock faceplates and the custom Wolf Den faceplates. Thanks, PDP. So go to the link in the description, which will take you to our Twitter, and then that'll take you to a contest link. US and Canada only because shipping is a bitch. So what do you guys think about this PDP Face-Off Deluxe Plus controller? Does this solve a problem for you? Is voice chat even something that you do on the Switch? Personally, I just use Discord, but I have like, I'm right next to my computer and I have like a mixer set up whereas I can like listen to both my computer and my switch at the same time. It's, it's, I know it's very, nobody has that. I'm aware that that's a very niche thing to have, but I might have a video explaining more on that in the future. Anyway, leave it in the comments below, add me on Twitter and you know, all this other social media garbage. We got new videos and live streams all the time. Our schedule is in a pinned tweet over on Twitter. You can also go to twitch.tv slash wolfden. I'm probably live right the second. You can support us here on YouTube or over on twitch.tv slash wolfden using Twitch Prime. And if you link those accounts to your Discord account, you can get into our supporter only Discord where, hey, maybe you never know, you could play Fortnite with me and Sarge at one in the morning. But of course, the most important thing that you can do is just subscribe to the channel, that's the easiest. And share this video with a friend, a friend that you play these games with that have voice chat and you can help solve a problem. Thank you guys very much. Give yourself a very good